What's up everybody, John from Old Learning Farm here. Thanks for joining us. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how we set up and deep fried our first Thanksgiving turkey. Let's get to work. So I've actually never fried a turkey before. This will be uh, our first time. Usually we would go to my parents' house or my mother-in-law's house, but you know, since 2020 is the worst, uh, we are doing it here. And since that is the case, we decided to try something new and fry a turkey. So right now, we are going to just find the water level. Because one of the most important things that you need to do is figure out how much oil you actually need to use. Um, and in order to do that, we're going to stick our turkey in our frying pot. We are going to fill it with water and see how much water uh, covers it. Then we pull the turkey out, see how much water is in there, make a mark on the uh, thing, and that's how we know how much oil to use. So we actually went out to Walmart and got this uh, kit that comes with everything you need. There's a nice little spigot at the bottom to, uh, you know, when you're done you can let go of the oil. Uh, it's really big. Uh, we have a 14 pound turkey here that we're going to use. Um, so right now I'm going to stick the turkey in there and I am going to fill it up with water and we're just going to fill it to uh, just over the top or so. Basically you just want to make sure that you don't overfill the pot with oil because then when you stick the turkey in there it'll overflow and cause like all kinds of problems. Um, so this is an easy way to figure out uh, what your fill line should be on oil. So I'm gonna go get the hose, stick the turkey in there, and fill it with water. All right, so while that fills up with water, here's my plan. So it is now Tuesday. We're gonna cook this bird on Thursday. So what I'm gonna do is once I figure out what the fill line is gonna be for the oil here, I'm gonna take the turkey inside and I'm gonna give it a nice dry rub, stick it in the fridge, and let it dry brine for the next two days. Um, one of the things that's really important when you're frying anything is that it's dry, because water plus oil equals rapid expansion and fire, which is not good. So. Okay, so this is what we're looking at right now. So this is just water in here. Um, and so that's gonna cover everything. So now when I pull this out, so that's actually pretty good. So that's gonna be, you know, basically right on the max fill line, which is fine. Uh, that'll be an easy, easy measuring stick for us. So that's that. So uh, we basically figured out now it's gonna be the max fill line, uh, which is fine. Uh, it gives us a much easier way of measuring where we need to put the oil at. So now that we got that done, we're going to bring the turkey inside, give it a rub, and uh, put it in the fridge. All right, so we are out here now outside. We've got everything set up, and what we're doing now is just making sure that the platform is level because uh, we don't want the oil level to be off kilter and have it either not. <laughs> Are you pooping while? <laughs> uh, she just pooped while I was. So we, we have it set up, um, just making sure it's level. Uh, we don't want the oil to be off kilter and either spill out or, you know, knock the whole pot over or, you know, anything like that. So we're just making sure it's level. And so you can see, bing. You know, it's, it's not perfect, but our ground here is really uh, not great, so what it is so we have this nice and far away but we got the turkey all ready we have that all ready so next step is we're gonna let the turkey come to room temperature we're gonna light it put the oil on let it heat up and then we'll get going so check back in with you later all right so safety tip time so you are not supposed to have anything combustible close to your burner which I do but it was looking really rainy before and Rain and hot oil is more dangerous than umbrella stand and hot oil. So right now we have an umbrella stand right here just in case to keep the, the water from coming down. But it's actually looking like it's going to clear up. So hopefully it does and I don't need to use this. Um, but just in case you see it in the video, 
that's why it's there. It's hot oil and it's open flame, it's propane, it's dangerous, so you gotta be careful. We're gonna have a fire extinguisher out here, so we're gonna be careful. And um, hopefully we're gonna cook a real nice turkey. Let's get to it. So miraculously, the sun is out, which is great news. Um, so now it's come time to start the fire, start heating up the oil. So got my oil here, got my uh, pot, and we're gonna get to work. Have fried our turkey, should be done by now. I hope so we're gonna pull it out, we're gonna let it rest for a few minutes and then uh, eat up. There she is. <laughs> All right, so uh, turkey's out. This is how it looks right now, I'm gonna do a taste test. Reminds me of turkey. So my final thoughts on deep frying a turkey are spend the money and get the best uh, equipment that you think you need. We got the cheapest one we could at Walmart. It was like 40 bucks and it acted like it. Um, it had a 15 minute safety timer on the burner, which meant that you know if you let it go longer than 15 minutes, it would turn off the flame. Um, and it also, it was really finicky, so like if, if I turned it a little bit too hard to reset it, it would turn off the flame, which was a big pain in the butt. I also had some trouble with the valve uh, controlling the gas. If I turned up or down the gas a little too hard, it would also turn off the flame. Um, so I had to be really gentle and really careful, and I had to just set back the timer a couple minutes each time, um, so it was really labor intensive, um, and I had trouble maintaining temperature. You know, it took a little while. It, it was fine getting up to 325, which was the right temperature uh, the oil needed to be at. But then, once I dumped the turkey in, it went down to about 250, and it took a really long time to get back up to temperature. Um, so it was in the oil longer than it should have been. Um, so it just, it wasn't as crispy, and it was a little bit oil soaked. Um, so just, just not the greatest thing. So I would suggest, if, if you're gonna try this yourself, spend a little bit of extra cash, get the best one you can afford because it's gonna be worth it in the end. Um, but overall, it tasted pretty good. Uh, first turkey I've ever cooked, uh, but I don't think we're gonna be doing it again next year. Um, so we still have some leftover oil. Maybe we'll make some French fries or something like that. That'll be fun. Um, anyway, thank you guys very much for watching this video. We really appreciate it. Leave us a comment, give us a like, and as always, please subscribe. Thanks for stopping by.